Welcome to the Deep Dive. Uh, today, we're going to be looking into Hypnosio.com. Right, that site offering hypnosis sessions for, well, quite a few things. Sleep, yeah. weight loss, stop and smoking. Exactly. And our mission really is to figure out, is Hypnosio legit or is it, you know, maybe a total scam? We've been digging through user reviews, looking at how their service actually works. Yeah, just trying to get you properly hypno-informed. Yeah. Okay, let's unpack this. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing that really, I mean, really jumped out from the reviews we saw is the pricing. Oh, yeah. That came up again and again. People felt very misled. They thought they were making like a simple one-time purchase, just buy the session, done. Uh-huh, the classic setup. But, but then, wham, surprise charges start appearing. Turns out it's actually a subscription service. And that wasn't clear up front, apparently, which predictably caused a lot of frustration. A massive amount. It's a huge point of contention in those reviews. And what's fascinating here, maybe concerning, is this feels, well, almost deliberate. It's a known tactic, isn't it? How so? Well, some online services sort of hide the subscription details. They bank on you maybe not noticing or finding it too much hassle to cancel later. It's an opt-out model disguised as a single purchase. Right, relying on inertia. People get busy, they forget. Exactly. And that friction, that difficulty, becomes part of the business model. It hides the real commitment cost. Hmm. Okay, so people figure out it is a subscription, but then the next problem hits. Trying to cancel. Yeah, that sounds like phase two of the headache. People described it as, I mean, a really complex process, a whole ordeal. Yeah. Getting a refund. Someone literally said it was like pulling teeth. Wow, that's not great. And when users complain, Hypnosio apparently just points them back to the terms and conditions. Sort of a, you should have read the fine print situation. Mm. And if we connect this to the bigger picture, look, any decent company should make leaving easy. If you want to cancel, it should be straightforward. You shouldn't feel trapped. Precisely. Making cancellation difficult, burying it in confusing steps, that's a major red flag. It suggests they're less interested in providing value and more interested in just keeping those charges coming, trapping you, essentially. Yeah. So uh, tricky billing, difficult cancellation. Does the customer service fare any better? Yeah. Seems unlikely, right? Well, based on the reviews you mentioned, probably not. What were people saying? Just consistently unhelpful responses yeah. or sometimes no response at all. People just felt like they were hitting a brick wall, getting absolutely nowhere with their issues. And this raises an important question, doesn't it? What does that kind of customer service or lack thereof say about the company's integrity. Yeah, me. If they make it hard to even contact them or if they just give you the runaround when you do, it's often more than just bad service. It can be a sign they're deliberately avoiding accountability. Like they don't want to solve the problem. Exactly. Genuine customer support isn't their priority. That's another huge warning sign for any service, really. And just quickly, on the actual hypnosis itself, there weren't like Tons and tons of reviews focusing only on effectiveness. Right. The billing and cancellations seem to dominate. Well, yeah, some folks did chime in saying the sessions just weren't that effective for them, which I guess, given all the other issues, yeah. isn't exactly confidence inspiring. No, it certainly adds to the overall picture. So trying to sort of synthesize this for you. Yeah. Look, we can't definitively sit here and say hypnosio is an outright scam. That's a strong word. True. But the sheer volume and consistency of these user reviews about the billing, the cancellation struggles, the poor customer service, it raises a lot of red flags. Serious ones. Way too many question marks to feel comfortable. Absolutely. Way too many. So our advice for you, the listener, is really just choose your service wisely, do your homework. Read the reviews, definitely. Yes, and look specifically for transparency. Is the pricing crystal clear? Is the cancellation policy easy to find and understand? Maybe even check how they handle payments. Sometimes reputable payment processors offer better dispute options. Good point. Mm -hmm. Look beyond just the sales pitch. And find out about their customer service before you sign up if you can. Responsive support is key. So what does this all mean for you? Well, it means taking a critical eye to any online service you're considering, not just something like Hypnosio. Mm -hmm. Really look for that transparency. Check the user experience that others are reporting. It's about being informed to avoid, you know, potential hypno assholes or really any kind of online hassle. Being informed is your best defense always. 